All right, I get asked a lot, how do I do the light up marquee? This is, um, I'll take it This is a light, to LED um, strip with a diffuser on it. These are about $17. They're good. Uh, I'll get this from Bunnies. You can use fluoros. Uh, fluoros are great. I mean, they're, they're what they used back in the day. Fluoros are more expensive though. They're mounted pretty much the same way, but um, much cheaper. These are actually brighter. They don't have the hard spots, the bright and dark spots that um, LED strips have because they've got the diffuser on there, which is just like a cloudy, foggy sort of just a cover. It comes like this. You have to splice in your own wiring, and it comes, uh, you can see in there, there's two little um, clips. You just screw them in. One screw each. It's a little bit tricky getting this in. Um, but I didn't want to take this off for that reason. One's in. There we go. This one. You just got to sort of press down and in at the same time, and they're locked, locked in place now. Just have to splice this. I'll show you how to do that. It's easy. Now what I've got, I've got these aluminium angles. Um, there's two of them, but they're vacuum stuck together. These are just aluminium angles. Don't ask me what size they are. I don't fucking know. I think I'm just guessing it's 15mm uh, by 15mm. What's that? Uh, inch wise? I don't know. Third of, two thirds of an inch by two thirds. Who knows? Who cares? All right. Whatever floats your boat at the end of the day. These sit there. Oh, I've got the two in my way. So it's sort of, they sit there. Gives it a nice sort of look. Now what sits in between? This. this is my header. Tron. It's backwards because it's on camera. It's actually cleaner. Now, it's just on opalescent perspex. This goes there. This goes in here. But, I mean, you can have it. It's a little bit bigger than what it should be on purpose. So the friction fit. You can have it like that without the edging. It looks fine, but with the edging on, if I can get it in there without it, it gives it a nicer look. See, it? then this edge will go over the key. Just a little bit of a scratch on it. This is a little bit too big. I have to cut this out a bit. But you'll see what I mean, it goes on there, but it gives it a nice look. So, basically all I've done is apply the sticker to some Perspex. That's it. That's all I've done. Now, applying the vinyl to Perspex is hard because it's not porous, obviously. So, you need soapy water for this. You have to. Alright, this is an exception to the MDF rule. Um, this is actually... I need to wipe it down. It's actually very clean. I mean, it's very clean looking when it's clean. But what we need to do is drill holes into this edging so we can have something screwed into it. So we're going to go over there and drill some holes. So of course my battery died because uh, that's what happens usually. Batteries just fucking die. Um, what I did is I, I just drilled. You know what? Maybe I'll take one off here. Just so you can see. That means I need to find my drill, which I can never find because of what? Right? Here we go. Right. So, See, 
I thought this was all recording, but it wasn't. So I used a three millimeter drill bit to drill the hole, and this is a countersink bit. This is for wood and metal. This just sort of bevels it so the screw sits in all the way, like yay. Like that, so it's sort of flush, right? So I did that on both. And that was what I thought I shot yesterday, but do it. I mounted it down on top. Now, you gotta fill for the hole. Yeah, no. you gotta, you gotta fill around, try and find the hole, then after you find the hole, you screw it, obviously. And then, um, you've got three of them. You don't need more than three, you can do ten if you really want, but there's no point. I'm good at finding holes. Ah, oh, this good works, don't they? Yeah. This is what stresses people out. These come like that out of the shop, right? You're supposed to attach your own um, cable to it, wire to it. Now, I'm going to strip these a bit further. This is just how they come, but they give you enough. Strip that one. Now, these are just cheap $10 wire strippers. They're king chrome, I mean it's not a bad brand, but these have lasted me for years, you don't need to be right? You've got a blue and a brown hot and neutral. Just match the colours. This is just just a fucking cable, just a random one I had lining up, right? Well in Australia it's 240 volts, so it doesn't really matter. They're all going to be 240. So what you're supposed to do really is get some hitch ring. Hitch ring first, twist the wires together, and ideally solder them. But I'm doing this assuming that you guys don't have a soldering iron or hitch ring, right? But I'll teach you a cool trick. Electrical tape, everyone's got electrical tape. This is just Nitto brand. This is this regular hardware store shit, right? You go over it. We're going to pretend it's hitch ring. Go over it a few layers. Just to make sure there's no you know, bare wires in there. And then what I do is... So I've got asbestos fingers, I don't feel much pain in them. But if you get a wire, can you see this? Heat it up to the knots. And then you just go over it with your fingers. It's not as good as it shrink, but it melts together. So the tape won't actually unravel or come off. And then you just sort of mold it. When that dries, it dries like almost hard plastic. It's good stuff. Sure. You don't really need a close up for this, I don't think, but it's just now still gooey because it's still warm, right? I'll just do that. If you don't have the heat shrink, that way you don't have to buy some because some guys they'll sell the heat shrink in you know, small batches of you know, 10 bucks a box. Or a, or it comes in a little, looks like a film canister almost. Um, you probably won't ever need that much, so there's no point. Or they sell them by the roll. So I'm just twisting the ground one together now. Put this tape on that. Can you see? Can you see? Alright, so it comes to tape off. Everyone asks for real time videos all the time because when you do cuts and time lapses and shit, it doesn't show how long it actually takes. I mean, this has taken me all of a couple of minutes so far. It doesn't get that hot, you can sort of gauge the heat. Actually it does get very hot, but I, I go a bit overboard because 
Um, my fingers are a couple of blister up later because I, I don't register heat very well because I've burnt my fingers way too many times. And my old sensei, um, Watanabe son, just uh, fucked our hands up in the training. So. Okay. Now, once these are done, they're secure. There's, there's no wire sticking out, so we just take them up. You don't have to use black. You use whatever colour you like. I just black goes with everything. So I use black. Now you yeah, take them up. You want to go at least an inch onto each wire splicing so you get a nice little grip. And that way they're never gonna really come apart. Now I usually do solder them, or solder, as the Americans say. But I am trying to do a how-to for people that don't have shit like that on the regular paper. Like, yeah, not everyone has a soldering like that. You know, so um, now I solder it with a lighter, just like you would heat shrink. Once it catches fire, you know it's too hot. And I mold it down, and that's going to dry to a harder sort of plastic, and you're right, it's all good. That's how I um, light up my key now. Let's see it light up. It's kind of bright in here, so you won't see much. I'll give you a little squeeze. Oh, I've really can't remember really the power cord, don't I? Now, if it blows, it'll make for a good video. So I raise this up. God damn grey hairs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna dye them. I'm not that old. Okay. No pop, there you go. Alright, uh, let's do it on and off. Now obviously in a darker environment it'll be more of a difference. You can't see really. It's a camera exposure as well, but I'm going to electrocute myself. I'm plugging this all the time. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a noticeable difference off camera. Obviously, a screen's going to go here. So, um, yeah. I'm going to put the screen in. I've done a screen tutorial already, I think. So, um, I don't know. Might leave this here. Now, for shit like this, little, uh, little tip. Is if you're really careful with an exacto knife and you trace along there, you won't see it. But when the light's on, it'll light, it'll backlight from 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 behind, and it'll actually give a nice, beautiful sort of light. Now I don't trust myself with really round corner like this, so I might just let that go. But this is fairly bright, but the camera just not picking up. Next, we'll probably do something else. I don't know.